Hello, my name is Ishmael Abdul Kawi, and I am a defensive back that played at Savannah State University and Cumberland University. And to start off, um, some goals that I uh, put onto my list before uh, my final collegiate season was to, um, you know, leave the place better than I found it, and to, you know, just create a great foundation. So whenever I leave. The younger guys are able to pick up and, uh, you know, just follow how I led and approach certain things uh, within the season. And um, I've been blessed to have a championship and national championship background. So just being a part of a team with those type of foundations, it's carried on to my daily lifestyles of just, um, you know, just how I approach weights, practice, you know, film sessions and, you know, just the stuff that I put in my body. And, uh, you know, just to add on, this background includes just doing the right things, having integrity at all times, giving maxim maximum effort um, in everything that I uh, place myself into. And most importantly, being coachable. Another goal um, that I had throughout the season was, you know, just being the best leader that I can be. Um, and just fulfill my captain duties, which was, you know, the best blessing in the world to be uh, selected as one of the defensive captains. You know, that's always been, uh, you know, uh, that's always been my dream to, you know, just lead the team and just have like all the coaches, you know, vote me into that leadership role. That really meant a lot to me. Um, I was able to take advantage of uh, the extra year of eligibility by, you know, just learning more about the game, learning more about, uh, you know, pr different professionals and uh, NFL leagues, like the defenses that they run and how can I fit myself into those schematic uh, situations. And, um, you know, just basically working on my craft and becoming the best human being and football player that I can be. Um, I feel like I took a great advantage of my last collegiate season because um, I was able to perform my best and, uh, you know, just get that captain role and lead the team to, uh, you know, uh, stay positive and just aim to finish things through. My teammates and coaches would say I'm a great player to follow and lead the way. Um, I carry myself as if I'm a professional athlete already. And uh, I definitely carry myself as a winner because that's what we want to do as uh, human beings. We want to win, we want to make it to the top. So that's how I approach my uh, daily life. And um, I felt like my energy was able to rub off on the program. And uh, a lot of people on the team was able to follow. And, you know, uh, I was always able to, you know, just bring the atmosphere up, you know, and, um, just always make it a competitive, competitive uh, nature environment. When I study film, I tend to look at uh, certain tendencies that the receiver uh, likes to do, like, you know, uh, what routes can he run if he's on top of the numbers? What routes can he run if he's inside the numbers or on the hash, inside the hash or outside the hash? I also look to see um, you know, tendencies that offensive linemen do, like um, is he low on his, uh, the ball of his feet? Is he on his heels? Or, uh, you know, just find different ways how I can uh, attack that offensive lineman. And uh, I also like to study the quarterback. You know, obviously, is he right or left-handed? Um, is he able to look off of one read and, you know, throw the check down? Or is he able to look one way and to confuse the defense or confuse the safety safeties and defensive backs along with the linebackers and look another way and uh you know how does he approach his progressions you know uh is he able to perform well under pressure or does he fold under pressure is he able to move out the pocket and uh throw on the run or is he more of uh you know your pocket passer type guy and um is he agile? Is he mobile in the hips? Um, do I have to worry about him? Uh, just do I have to worry about getting outflanked? Do I have to take a certain angle? Um, because that's one of the things I believe football is all about. You know, you can have all the speed or athleticism in the world, but if you take the wrong angle, then uh, 
I know for a fact that's something that's able to get you beat in the football world. Um, recently, I just watched a video about Deion Sanders, and he said when they, uh, when he was in the NFL, you know, along with studying certain tendencies of the players, he uh, he said he likes to study the tendencies of offensive coordinators, and um, I feel like uh, that'll be a great addition to uh, my IQ towards the game. And, uh, you know, I've just started getting into that, you know, just studying, like, is the offensive coordinator, is he an aggressive coordinator? Is he a passive coordinator? Or, um, you know, what side of the field does he like to attack? Um, is he more of a balanced person? Um, is he more of a passing, uh, passing coordinator? Or does he like to run the ball a lot, you know, get the defense on his heels and, uh, you know, throw a deep ball and, um, you know, just things like that. And I'm really uh, happy that I was able to watch that video because I feel like that can change the course of my uh, my professional career because uh, I don't think that much people do that in the football world because naturally as a football player, you don't really think about, okay, yeah, let me study this coordinator to see um, how he, he can attack me uh, on game day. You no, know, um, most players naturally just try to study, you know, different positions on who they're uh, facing against and go from there. So, um, yeah, that's kind of how I like to uh, study film. You know, um, I believe the plays that are made on the field is, it, it, start, it starts from the film sessions. And it's not just, okay, yeah, I'm watching film with coach. No, I need to, I, I'm always liking to you know, watch film on my opponent on my free time because, you know, the more I put in is the results that I'll uh, get out of it. Um, what separates me from other pro prospects is that I have um, film at every defensive back position. Um, my primary position is nickelback. And uh, my true freshman year at Savannah State, I played... Um, lots of snaps at cornerback and um you know throughout my career i've been able to play uh free safety depending on uh the formation that we're going against say if it's like three by one and i'm to the back side then i can uh roll to the passing strength and uh you know and i kind of i like being at the you know the back end of the defense because i believe with my um my IQ and my athleticism along with my speed, I feel as if I'm a very dangerous safety because of my uh, closing speed to um, be able to come back deep from 15 yards and, you know, still be able to make a play by the line of scrimmage, um, you know, on uh, screen plays or, you know, uh, outside zones or really anything inside as well too. So, uh, and recently at my, um, my, uh, I played in two bowl games, and I was able to, in the first one, I was able to run a corner, free safety, and a nickelback. And this uh, most recent uh, bowl game, I was able to run just mainly strictly corner and, uh, you know, a few snaps at uh, free safety as well. And I just thought it was, you know, just a blessing to be able to uh, play corner after not playing it for uh, about five years. So, you know... I, I kind of have that foundation and within my uh, my skill set and just being able to play those three positions, it helps me, uh, it, it just helps, it just helps me learn the defense and what is his job right next to me, what is this guy's job right next to me. So like, I kind of have a feel of, you know, where they're going to be and where the weakness of the defense or the coverage call is so you know that's been a a great blessing to be able to uh, line up at all those positions and just having the trust of my coaches to you know plug me into those positions um, it's been a, a a big blessing a big blessing um, also what separates me from other pro prospects is my ability to make game-changing plays on special teams kickoff return uh, punt block, kickoff, gunner, and flyer. Um, that's why I'm able to utilize my athleticism and speed to its fullest because 
Um, special team is all about who can um, be that better guy in a small amount of space. And I feel like I'm athletic enough to, you know, maneuver around the other person who's trying to, uh, you know, block me or, uh, you know, just get me off track of where I'm going. I feel like uh, uh, I'm really good at playing those positions because I really take pride in um, my one-on-one -on -one matchups. And I feel as if, um, if I can beat this opposing guy, then I can get to the punt returner quick or I can get to the punt man quick or I can break loose for, um, you know, a big gain or a touchdown on kickoff return. Um, uh, I feel as if special teams is my um, my X factor within my game because I know people tend to take that playoff to, uh, you know, um, you know, get their breath and, you know, catch their breath and, you know, uh, just try and, uh, you know, get that extra energy for uh, whichever side of the ball they're on. Um, no, I'm that type of guy where it doesn't matter how I'm feeling, I'm going to give this play my 110% to try and make a game-changing play to uh, to help my team uh, win the ball game. And uh, I feel as if that gives you so much versatility whenever you, you're a good player on special teams and you're able to make big-time plays because I believe the game is won on special teams, you know. And uh, maybe two to three offensive or defensive plays. Like there's about three to four big plays that happen within the game that determines the outcome of the game. And I feel like special team is the most important aspect of a football game. And uh, that has been something I believe throughout my uh, career and I've, my, my film shows for it. Uh, my off season plan is to hit the gym four to five days throughout the week. Um, train with an NFL trainer um, two to four days out the week and then have my own day where, you know, I kind of mix up what I've learned from the NFL trainer and what he thinks I need to work on. And so I get that uh, field day to myself to, uh, you know, try and eliminate my uh, weaknesses. And then I want, uh, then I have been doing um, two track days as well because I believe, you know, uh, I, I like I like my speed, you know. I don't ever think it, uh, there's a limit to my speed. So uh, I believe those track days help me build um, endurance, mobility, and you know, just like I said, of course, my speed. So those track days are um, crucial for my, um, for my athleticism. Uh, so strengths and uh, abilities that I bring to the table um, is my communication, uh, my integrity, my IQ, my willingness to learn. You know, uh, I feel as if anywhere I go, it doesn't matter where it can be. It can be in a store or, you know, uh, you know, just anywhere. Anywhere I go, my parents, my friends, my cousins, anytime uh, a piece of knowledge is thrown at me, I empty my cup of water and take whatever water, you know, or knowledge that they're giving me and pour it into my cup so I can, you know, apply whatever they said into my life and see, you know, how that, uh, you know, changes my life. Because I believe knowledge is power. Nobody in this world has infinite amount of knowledge, if you get what I mean. I feel like you can always keep learning, and especially as an athlete, you know, learning makes me a better athlete because we all think differently. We all perceive things differently. And um, I believe, you know, anything that my coach tells me, uh, I'm, I'm always willing to, you know, pour that cup of water into mine or, um, you know, any other players, if they're trying to tell me, you know, something that can better my game, um, I'm always gonna be that guy to uh, hear it out and, and try to translate it into my game. So because I but I, I want to be the best that I can be. I want to be the best defensive back to ever um, play this game. And um, I'm anybody who comes on along my journey. I'm you know I'm, I'm gonna take that uh, cup of water and pouring it to mine, so I can uh, be the best that I can be. Uh, you know uh, so the uh, other uh, attributes that I believe that that um, would make me a good. Uh, professional player is my strength, my speed, um, 
my hip mobility because I believe as a defensive back, um, them hips have to be oily. You have to be able to um, be uncomfortable being in a be comfortable being in a um, uncomfortable position, and that's all DB is because I'm moving backwards, guarding somebody who's you know able to do you know whatever he wants. But my I ain't gonna lie, my game plan is always to try and uh, you know make the receiver uncomfortable with uh, what his job is to do, you know. And um, I feel as if my most important um, attribute is my mental toughness, you know. You know, playing defensive back uh, and just playing football in general, you have to get comfortable, uh, you know, with adversity. And when adversity strikes, um, I really take pride in how can I respond, you know. How can I, uh, if something negative happens, how can I uh, uplift my team with my words or my play? Um, because uh, if you get, if you shut down in the mind, then the body's gonna reciprocate, and the game, the rest of the game is gonna be a horrible game if if you're not able to, you know, you know, snap back into that, uh, you know, that just having that mental toughness and believing that, okay, let me shake that off. Next play. Or even if I make a good play, I believe mental toughness is, you know, not living in the past in the game. Like, okay, I just made a a, a big play. Okay, it's over with. Now nah, let's keep playing. How can I uh, make another play, another big play to, uh, you know, uh, keep giving my team momentum? You know what I mean? So, yeah, that's something that uh, I really take pride in as well. And uh, my final pitch to NFL teams and pro leagues is that I believe in the quote, stay ready so you don't have to get ready. So um, if it's a tryout or a mini camp, um, I know for a fact that, you know, the amount of training that I do throughout the week, uh, it just, I'm, I'm in the best shape of my life. And uh, there's no worries to be, uh, yeah, is this guy gonna be in shape? Um, is he gonna be ready? No, nah, I'm always ready, you know? Uh, endurance strength power you know flexibility mobility i'm always ready because i'm doing that every day you know it's what i live for uh i'm also an unbelievable hard worker um i'm always willing to learn just like i said in my uh, last question and most importantly just to be all in in whatever program chooses me uh i'm gonna give my 110 percent every day um doesn't matter if i'm tired or exhausted i'm still gonna give it my all because what doesn't kill me makes me stronger that's a, a quote that i'm a firm believer in um and i'm never complacent it doesn't matter about accolades or how i'm playing in the moment um i always want to strive to to be the best and you know to just keep performing as if I'm the best already, so I'm never complacent with with the success that I receive, um, you know, and now I'm still that lion that's climbing on top of that mountain, and um, you can't ever be complacent, and I feel as if when you get to the top, a lot of people start to get complacent and, you know, just start to relax and forget the things that, you know, got them to that, uh, the top of that mountain. Me, um, you know, just being at that line that's, that's climbing and still climbing, uh, I'm ready to eat my prey up and, and and it doesn't matter if I'm at the top or I'm at the middle, it doesn't matter. Like, I'll never be complacent on where I'm at in life. Uh, I feel as if, you know, my purpose is to be the best that I can be and, uh, and, and destroy whatever comes in my way or any obstacles that come in my way. And, uh, I truly believe that I have all of the tools and the potential and the talent to become a, a successful NFL player and become the best uh, uh, defensive back to ever play the game of football. I feel as if I possess all those traits. You know, um, I have a great trainer, I have a great uh, support system, I have a great family. And uh, I believe whenever I get my shot and my opportunity, I am going to, uh, you know, seize the moment and you know, uh, the sky's not the limit for me. So I'm ready to get that opportunity and, you know, 
you know, bring those wings out and fly and never turn back, you know. And I, I will be, I, I will be ready for my shot because I'm working every day, day in, day out, nighttime, all that. So, you know, when I get my shot, I will uh, be ready to succeed and, and own the moment.